Hey Cancer, how are you guys doing? Welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. So this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, please understand this is a general reading, so please keep an open mind. Only take what you feel resonates for your situation at this point in time, my loves. So let's see what we got for the Cancer. Please like this video, uh, share, subscribe, guys. Thank you so much. All right. What is coming to Cancer in Love, Cancer? What do we have for Cancer in Love? Okay. The lovers, you could be connected to a Gemini. What is coming to Cancer in Love, Cancer? You have High Priestess, could be connected to a Pisces. What is coming to Cancer in Love, Cancer, Cancer, Cancer? What is coming to Cancer in Love? Well, looks pretty good to me. Cancer could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Ten of Wands, Ace of Cups. What's coming to Cancer in love? What is coming to Cancer in love? Cancer. So I'm hearing that some freak. <laughs> I'm hearing Cancer that someone basically feels like you belong together here. Okay. Whether, okay, so anything I'm saying could be your feelings, their feelings. Okay. This is a general reading. Switch it the way you need to. But, uh, I mean, yeah, basically, some freak feels like you actually belong together, Cancer. They definitely feel that way. Um, this could be, you know, you could be in a relationship here, right? What's coming to Cancer in love? Cancer. Some, some of you I'm hearing, if you guys are separated, this freak can't wait for you guys to reunite again, okay? Uh, there could be some type of distance here. <laughs> some of you I'm hearing, this person could be in jail, okay? What is coming to cancer and love, cancer? What is coming to cancer and love? Let me get three more cards here. What's coming to cancer and love, cancer? Ooh, well, here it is. I mean, yeah, this person, this is, okay. So even if they don't think that cancer, but truth be told, you and this person, I mean, it looks like it's kind of a destiny type of thing with the uh, Wheel of Fortune that talks about, you know, destiny, fate. Um, so like you're kind of meant to be, right? So this freak may have turned into Mariah Carey cancer. And basically, and basically they that's what they feel at this point in time. They feel that you guys uh, belong together. You have the King of Cups. What's coming to Cancer and Love, Cancer, Cancer. And I'm hearing that although it could be like a very difficult connection at times or some of you, this could be your twin flame, okay? But bottom line, you guys do share some kind of past um, past life together whenever the lover shows up, okay? So it's like you guys will have some kind of challenges sometimes, you know? especially for twin flame connections. But at the end of the day, I still kind of feel like this is something that somebody still wants to happen. They want this to move forward, push forward, whatever you want to call it, okay? You know, because the Ten of Wands is a card of, uh, you know, stress and things like that. So it may not even be that you're stressing them out or they're stressing you out. It could just be other influences stressing this connection out at this time. But either way, I just see it as something that's still going to happen. It's still meant to be. Um, you have the temperance card. So, you know, this is a card of patience, right? Understanding, uh, compromising and, and things like that. So, and it's also representing um, unconditional love. So, I mean, what else you want me to say? Cancer, okay. Tell me about this uh, lovers for cancer, please. I mean, this freak is, <laughs> this person is like dreaming for the day. Like they're dreaming, um, they're daydreaming about the day that you guys will be together. Like I said, that's if you guys are separated. Um, and even if you guys are together, this freak is still dreaming. Okay. Um, I think that this person's really, really in love with you. You have um, the king and the queen of cups here. So obviously two of the same suit, um, Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I mean, obviously it's a mutual thing here. Someone just can't stop dreaming and I don't know, guys. It's like, this is very, like a very spiritual connection, okay? So what is the high priestess for cancer? Someone, like someone's intuition tells them that this is it, okay? And this is gonna happen one day, even if you guys are not together right now, okay? High priestess. 
So this freak feels like you guys absolutely, positively belong together. You have the three of wands. I mean, someone's expecting that, waiting for you guys to uh, reunite. That's what they're hoping for. Some of you, this could be long distance, okay? So what is the ten of wands for cancer? Okay. The world, the emperor. So ace of cups is at the heart of the spread. So this is all about... You know, looking forward to love, okay? And nothing but love. I mean, I mean, the, the cup here is overflowing. Ace of Cups, please. Um, so one can't wait. Wow. Ace of Cups and the Ace of Cups together. Wow, that's double confirmation. Um, I feel like someone is really, really, really like, they just, they just can't wait. They're trying to be patient. Um, but at the same damn time, they just want this to happen. Neil. Neil. <laughs> So what is the will of fortune for cancer? Will of fortune. This is going to happen regardless though. Okay. It's not something that you can fight. It's not something that you can, uh, you know, whatever, you know, destiny is destiny. What's destined for you is going to happen regardless. I feel like someone's in their head a lot. They're overthinking. Now, say for instance, you guys are already together. I mean, to me, it just looks like a bunch of, um, oh God, <laughs> it looks like a bunch of overthinking cancer. Okay. That's basically what it looks like. Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, Nine of Cups. Um, and that's really that's really all that it is at this point in time. Um, tell me about this Nine of Cups. Some of you I'm hearing that when this freak does come out of jail. <laughs> um, or maybe you in jail. You in jail, Cancer? Okay. <laughs> so I'm hearing some of you when this freak comes out of jail. Okay, so that, that's my cancer boyfriend. He's crazy, okay? So I'm hearing when this freak comes out of jail, basically, um, they're going to like they're gonna do something really major. So they could propose. They could, uh, I don't know, shit, bring some flowers or something, god damn it. I don't know, something like that, shit. Um, so what is temperance? <sighs> Someone's trying to be patient. Um, and... You know, for those of you who are not together, this person, someone is worried that it's not going to happen too. So it's like they believe it's going to happen, but at the same time, sometimes their mind tells them maybe it won't happen. And so they end up breaking their own heart. <laughs> someone ends up breaking their own heart and uh, just basically losing that. Alrighty, well, looks to be a pretty good read. Um, I think you guys both feel the same way here. Um, and, and that's that. That is absolutely that. Um, I mean, if there is a third party, then unfortunately, uh, that could be what the lovers is signifying for some of you. Um, some freak is going to have to make a choice eventually. And in divine timing, apparently they will. What else for cancer, please, in this love situation? Yep, you have the six of swords. Cancer, cancer. What else do we have? The five of swords reverse. Cancer. I don't know if you guys have been kind of getting into some crap, some arguments. Um, five of Swords reverse. Um, basically, the whole, you know, the pettiness, whatever bull crap that is. I think you guys are moving forward from that. Um, so, especially, you know, um, relationships, it looks like it, it would smooth out and get better. Can't say what else. But the Eight of Swords is here, which tells me that. I mean, this person's in their head quite a bit. This person's in their head. Someone's in their head a lot about this. But at the same time, they're still giving it the benefit of the doubt. That's what I just heard. You could be dealing with a Libra. Um, someone who has Libra in their chart. All right. So what else do we have? What else for Cancer, please? This is your confirmation, Cancer, as well. If you needed to know if this is it or if this is going to happen. Yeah, it will damn happen. No, it will happen, Cancer. So you have obstacles. Look for ways around obstacles to find happiness. What else? Whatever that op obstacle is. Okay. What was that? I've seen something come out. Okay, well, still again. So we have true love. True love comes when you least expect it. You have yin yang. Let the yin yang symbol. Twin flames contain an aspect of each other's character within themselves. Okay. 
And if, just like I said, bottom of the deck, you have surprise. You may be about to be surprised. But some of you, when this freak does come back, it's only a matter of time, okay? If you guys are separated, they, they come back. You guys get together, get back together, whatever it is. This could be someone that you're married to as well, okay? So maybe the odds may be in your favor that you guys get to get back together or um, repair the relationship, whatever, okay? You have intense. The intensity of a true soul connection includes great highs and great lows. All right. So let's see what else we got. So this is your confirmation, Cancer. That this this is it. This is it. Okay, my loves. This is absolutely it. So you have here and now. Your true love is already a part of your life. What else for Cancer, please? You have abundance. You've done the work. Abundance close to you now. So some freak, maybe they need to apologize. Only a, It's only a matter of time before this freak comes singing, you know. We belong together. So you have apology. You can expect the apology that you want to hear. Um, I'm hearing that some of you, you and this person may have had like some kind of, um, what is it? Like karmic lessons that you had to kind of go through with each other. Um, can't say what else. So you have intuition. You already know the answer that you seek. Okay, so I mean, the, the, the high priestess is here for a reason, Cancer. I think that, uh, you know what I'm saying? I think that you kind of already know um, what this person is and, and what this is and whatever. You know that this is meant to be. Um, and uh, I'm sure they know it too, Cancer. They do, okay? So that's what I have for you, Cancer. Yeah, someone could definitely be in jail, okay? Because we do we do have the Eight of Swords and the Six of Swords. Oh, boy. Well, I'm not laughing at them being in jail, just so you know. But, um, yeah, it's just crazy because sometimes when the Eight of Swords comes out, it's just like, okay, yeah, that's my jail card, okay? So let's pull some messages and see what this freak would want to say. Okay, so cut the deck. We have plans to ask you out. And plans to propose. So, like I said, some of you, this could be a situation to where, um, you know, this, you know, somebody uh, proposes here. Okay, um, you have committed relationship. What else do we have? Some of you, this freak was in denial. Okay, but they can only be in denial for so long, Cancer. Okay, don't worry, they're gonna come to mama or come to papa. Okay, don't worry. And you have we belong to you. So I told you that's how this person feels. Uh, my heart and soul belongs to you. This could be an Aries. Someone has Aries in their charts. How do my true feelings from you? What else do we have? So this freak is watching your every move. What else? So maybe in the past, this person only wanted, you know, to hook up or whatever it was. But don't you worry. They're going to be changing their tune very, very soon. Okay. So we pull cancer. So that's confirmation. This is your reading. Could be done with another cancer. This freak is very obsessed. Okay. Cancer. And that's just for cancer. 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 So this freak says, please take me back. So for some of you, this freak wants you to take them back. Okay. Uh, best I ever had here. We have trust issues, sharing feelings, wine and dine. What else for cancer? <laughs> so some freak may be losing hope, okay? But they want to explain. <laughs> oh, boy. Ooh, well, we have plans to propose. So, uh, you know, somebody here, even if you're a man watching a female cancer, you could have, you know, plans to propose. Or if you're a female cancer, it doesn't matter. You know, this freak could have plans to kind of, you know, do their thing with you here, okay? So, Cancer, if you enjoyed this reading, please be sure to hit the like button, as always said. Um, share, right? Tap a neighbor on the shoulder. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Now, I'm saying if you're at work, talk to your co-workers about the pretty intuitive tarot. Um, and subscribe if you have not already, my loves, okay? All right. So that's what I have for you guys.
Thank you for tuning in. Talk to you guys soon.